There you go. What it do? Okay. What's up? What it do? What it do? What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? <laughs> No, girl, it's so many goddamn technical difficulties right uh -uh. now. Like, it's cool. we ain't gonna talk about it. You gonna fix it? I'm trying to get it. <laughs> I'm gonna hold this bitch in. We got a couple people watching. They slowly gonna roll in. Oh no, you. Don't... My bad, girl. It's so much shit. I'm it's something right here. Put put something behind this. That ain't what it is. That's Put the, the vinegar. Get the vinegar and put the bottle. Shut up. Right I'm sorry, y'all. No, behind there, like right here. That's what you're gonna right, have to baby, do right here. My you ready? I'm sorry, girl. It's so much. I'm gonna just hold it. Fuck it. <laughs> but uh, um, <laughs> the song. That it's so much going on. Yeah, you good. The song is playing in the background. Is running bands up. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you for checking in with Female Hip Hop. We just gonna run this like a regular interview. We're supposed to have it in person, but we still gonna try to get that worked out. We Wait. still gonna get it worked out. We got we got some more time. We gonna make it happen. Make it happen. All right. So what we gonna do? I gave you some uh, questions like a couple weeks ago. I'm gonna use those questions like it stems, and then we just gonna um, I'm gonna kind of freestyle too, just to get to know a little bit more about you. Uh, all I can say is tell about yourself. Don't tell on yourself. Period. <laughs> I'm going what's that? Like, period. All right. So first and foremost, where are you from, Stony? Where are you? From? Um, I was born in Dallas, Texas, but at six years old, I moved to Waco, but I still say I'm from mm -hmm. Dallas. I ain't from motherfucking Waco. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Understand? Why not, like, claim Waco, though? Like, what's the deal with Waco? I mean, it just don't, like, even though I've been living there for the longest, it's still, it just don't feel like home. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it don't feel like home like Dallas do to me. Okay. So that's why I say that it don't feel like home. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So, what part of Dallas? Like, say that again. What part of Dallas are you from? Well, I'm a, I'm the countryside girl, Greenville, Texas, okay. <laughs> on the other side of Dallas. Yeah, I've been there before. I lived in Dallas for like a year, so I actually drove through there before. So it is country. It is a cool spot, though. All right. So like. From Dallas and like staying in Waco, what inspired you to kind of like start rapping, like start making music? Honestly, I just wanted to see if I could do it because I'm naturally a singer. Like I sing. Yeah, that's my natural talent. And I just wanted with the rapping shit, like people started rapping. I was like, I wonder if I could do it. Okay. You know, so and I just started, like I started listening to beats and shit like that. And I was like, I just started putting shit down. And that's when running bands up, came along. Like, that was just some shit I was trying out. Okay. I didn't even intend for it to be, like, my entry into the industry. Okay. Like, I didn't think it would be that. Yeah, because running bands up hard, I was just listening to that. That's one of the first songs. I heard about you through Misha Billy. So I know you know who Misha Billy is. Yeah, and then she that's my first cousin. Yeah, and she put me on, and I was like, oh, shit, she dope as hell. And then, like, your stage name is dope. Somebody just said that. What made uh you come up with that stage name? Like, what's the background on that? Okay, so it, it because I used to smoke a lot, so it was originally stoner. Okay. Stoner tea. Okay. And I was like, I don't really like that. So I changed it to stony. And then the Blanco came from the love of Griselda Blanco. So, like, that's where that came from. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's my. Okay. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I understand why you, yeah. I understand why you, yeah. Okay, that's real dope. That's real dope. So, um, what should we know about your music? Like, what you know, what's, like, your base of your music when you, like, like, who do you make it for? It's basically, like, I want to, like, it's women empowerment. It's basically, like, fuck these niggas. Go get your own bread. And if you do fuck with a nigga, make sure he doing something for you. Thanks. Period. <laughs> make sure he running that shit. If he ain't running it, you need to get rid of it. Okay, okay. That's, that's facts. That's real good. I like that. I like that. How do you feel about, like, more females coming with that energy now in the industry? Because before it wasn't, like, barely any females. Now it's, like, a whole lot of them. I feel like that shit, hell yeah. Like, everybody needs to stay on these niggas' asses, period. That's how I feel about that shit. Stay okay. on these niggas' asses. Okay. Make them run that shit. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit. That's good. That's good. All right. 
So um, when did you start it rapping? Like, when did you start rapping? Like, like I'm talking about, like, sketching it down as a kid or just taking it seriously. When did that all come about and start? The singing really started at six years old, but I wrote my first official song at, like, 12. Mm. 12, 13, some, somewhere up in there. And people was really fucking with it, and I was like, I probably can really do this shit, you know? Like, and so after that, I just ran with it. Okay. I just ran with it. And then, but the rapping shit came at the end of 2018, I think. Mm. At the end of 2018, and that's when I got in contact with my manager. Okay. DJ Black Messiah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like he had a little competition going on or whatever, and he ended up choosing me, and we've been rocking ever since. Yeah, shout out to DJ Messiah. Um, How did, like, how did, so that's how that came about. Like, cause I noticed that's the guy that kind of produces all your music, iconic visuals. I'm pretty sure I'll probably be the person you'll go to when you start doing visuals and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. that's real dope. All right. I actually got a video shoot tomorrow. He, he pulling up on me. I got it tomorrow. <laughs> that exclusive, so I can go ahead and tease him a little bit. Yeah. I, hey, that's a bit. What song you going to uh, shoot the video to? No Hook. No Hook. Okay. Yeah, that's. I really wanna, I really wanna do three videos mm -hmm. in one day, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, I really wanna do three video shoots in one day. Okay, that's a bit. but we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to work hard at this shit. I'm not playing no more. I ain't letting up no more. They got me fucked up. <laughs> that's a <laughs> people. People will sleep on you. That's why I put you on that cover. I'm like, yeah, they sleep on this girl. This girl really, really rap. All right. I appreciate that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um. Let's go ahead. Like, what is a life changing experience that has affected you, like in the music or just in life? Something that kind of like, kind of where you pull your motivation from when you start rapping? It was. It's really some shit on like life happens, mm. and it gives you inspiration. Like life gave me inspiration. Like it gave me so much. Like going through a lot by myself put me in a box to where I I had no choice but to write about it. Mm. So life inspired me. Okay. That's good. It really did. That's good. That's good. That's dope. All right. That's real dope. Because you don't hear a lot of female rappers. A lot of female rappers talk about sex, which is still cool. But like talking about real life to what you can relate to, that's like awesome. Yeah. So I and that type of music is definitely coming. Once I drop my tape, it's definitely coming. Okay. People want to hear pain from me, but they don't understand once you felt pain your whole life. Mm. You don't want to constantly bring it up. You don't want to be reminded. So it takes a lot for me to make a pain song because I've tried to hide it for so long. So it's hard to bring it back up okay. for me. Okay. So, that's, yeah. That's true. I never thought about that as an artist. People ask artists for pain music, but don't realize that, like, they don't want to talk about that no more because they live in a better life. They want to talk about yeah. the perkins and the flexing and all that, which now it makes sense. Okay, now I get it. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. Um, let's think about like what are some of your uh, musical influences besides like the things you go through. What are some things that you listen to daily or see every day or have to do every day to influence you to like? Let me write this down. Let me get in the booth. Honestly, it's Lil Baby. <laughs> really? It's crazy because Lil Baby is like not what he says. It's just like his whole vibe. Like, he make a bitch, like, I'm, I'm a real street bitch. He a real street nigga, and you make me want to tell my story, how I run these niggas. Like, I run this shit. Yeah. And like, feel, Lil Baby is really my inspiration, for real. I, it ain't no Sydney Girls, it ain't Lil' Kim, it ain't none of that. Mm. I just sound like that, but I'm telling my story. Mm -hmm. But Lil Baby inspired me, like, on that shit. That's crazy. You say you're a real street bitch. What, do, what, do that, what does that mean, like, to people that don't understand? Because I understand, but what does that mean to, like, the people that don't understand? All that street, all that street shit, like everything that you can imagine, I've seen it. Mm. I've done it. I've seen other people have to go through it. Like, I've seen it, done it, felt it, smell it. I can smell it from a mile away. Like, I'm a real street bitch, for real. Okay, okay. How does that, like, that just emolds your life? Like, how does that, like, did it just... Because, like, when somebody say they street, I know what street is. I ain't never been through it. But, like, just saying street and seeing that stuff, like, it's a hard life. How does that, like, kind of push you to go forward? And, like... Because I'm out. Like, I, I just get tired of this shit. Like, it's, it's like, real life shit be going on. Like, in the streets, it's hard. And and that's what, like, keep me going. Like, I don't want to live this life no more. Mm. 
I don't want to have to go through street shit no more. Like, I mean, it's always embedded in me, but I don't want to, like, constantly live my life like that no more. Mm. Mm -mm. That's dumb. And that's what pushed me. That's real. Uh, that's that's real. I feel that completely. All right. So <clears throat> what are some of your favorite rappers today? Like, I know you listen to you listen to yourself, but what are some of your favorite rappers? Could be in the city, outside the city, across the world, with somebody. Like, for the city, I really be listening to. I listen to Shay Glizzy right. from Waco. I listen to Lil Baby a lot. I listen to Tusi. I guess that's how you say his name. Um, I listen to Moneybag. I listen to... I listen to a lot of old school shit too when it comes to like Lil Kim, Foxy Brown, Charlie Baltimore. Yeah. Like, I, I listen to shit like that. Charlie Baltimore, a lot of people don't uh, mess with her. Why Charlie Baltimore? Because a lot of people, like, if you're not really a female hip hop head, you don't know who that is. Because she is like the roughness. She got that edge to her, like me. Like, I like being like super rough, hard because I'm a tomboy naturally. So, and she give me that. Like, that's the inspiration. It's okay to be rough. You can look pretty and still be rough. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah. 100%. So, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so a year from now, where do you see yourself in music? I see myself really, like, doing what we're doing now on a lot more interviews and in the studio more than I am now. I see more videos being put out. I see myself pushing my pen a little bit more. Like, I really see myself taking it to another level. Okay. That's good. That's real good. That's real good. I love that, right? So, um, what's the hardest thing about being an artist? Like, what has been, like, just something that's difficult or hard for you? I mean, I would say the hardest thing... Uh, I really... I, I, nothing is really hard. Like, nothing is hard about being an artist or, like, rapper. Like, nothing is hard. It's just, like... Well, no, I take that back. I lied. It's the patience. <laughs> it's the patience like you gotta understand that the shit takes time and you gotta be patient and wait your turn yeah like you can't just you can't pay attention to what everybody else got going on like the patience is the hardest part being patient on the shit okay so you like for you it's like okay cause you see a lot of overnight successes lately like not overnight but like three years success artists so it's just being able to keep pushing and keep going into it um what was I about to say do you see yourself singing on track because you're versatile so it's coming it's definitely coming okay. okay and with that rapid shit I just, go ahead and ask your questions because i got some shit to say at the end because these all got me fucked up oh, boy okay. i'm telling you <laughs> your shit because i know that's what you want to do let me go ahead period all right um okay the internet blogging how do you feel about that in the music industry do you think it's helping the music music industry or hurting the music industry both. Mm. Go, go, Both. Ahead. go ahead. It's it's kind of like the you said bloggers, bloggers right? The internet in general, yeah. Okay, so I feel like it gave people a different type of platform in a way so they can like provide for their families and shit. But also, like once you get to the, a certain point, like the same people that put you on, they gonna bash you and put you down. That's why that's what I'm talking about. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing because once you reach a certain status, things begin to be different. Mm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I, and I noticed that too is the negativity. It's the negativity. Yes. That's true. That's true. And JT, like the City Girls is the prime example of that. At first, everybody was feeling them and now they get so much hate. Once you reach a certain status in the industry, like the hate is going to come. Mm. How did. So I feel like that's a good and a bad thing with the media being involved in so much shit. Mm. That's the part that I don't want. Okay. Like, I don't want the media shit. Like, I don't, but I know it come with it. So I got to accept it. So how are you going to, like, thinking about it now, how would you, like, kind of, how would you, like, kind of, artists like, artists like, the, the people on Instagram. You going, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because mm -hmm. you kind of going in and out. Sorry, my mama calling me. You good. But, uh, yeah. what did you say? I said, uh, with, like, Tokyo Jet, she kind of, like, answers back to artists on, uh, not artists, but answer back to people with the hateful comments on Twitter and Instagram and uh, other female rappers uh, sometimes. Hold on, because I don't know why I can't hear you now. What the fuck? Hold on, because I don't know why I can't hear you. Hello? I'm finna, I might have to. Let me see. Add me back. Add me back and keep that question in mind. Add me I back. Got you. 
Okay. Let's add her back. We about to come back. We had technical difficulties, y'all. Hold on. Let's get it back rolling. We're going to get it right back. Let's go ahead and add her back. She finna get right back in here. We had some technical difficulties. Y'all hold on with us. My bad. My mama be doing the most. She want to know how the interview going and shit, but can't wait. Hey, that's a good question. I'm going to ask you with parent involvement with your music after this question, but like, how would you kind of like navigate that? Because like with Tokyo Jets, sometimes she will answer back to the haters, or even Rennie Rucci, other female rappers will answer back to the haters. Would you do that, or would you just like ignore that? I ain't doing none of that. I'm not even going to read the comments. I'm doing my job. It ain't my job to go read no comments. I'm finna get in the studio, release to do the videos, all that, but I'm not reading no comment. I feel you. Hey, that's a that's a good way to think of it. Keep your mind. I'm not. Little baby taught me that. Don't read no comment. No, that's real. I don't. Don't read no comments, because what is they going to do besides, like, get you out your mold? Like, it ain't doing nothing for you. Mm -hmm. The money going to, your talent going to speak for itself. The money going to come yeah, if you're doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, so I ain't read no comments. <laughs> it's real. I respect that. A lot of artists gotta take that, take that mind state. Um, how does it feel to have an involved parent? Like, how do your mom and you know dad or like whatever guardian do you have feel about you rapping and being a performer, or artist? I mean, both of my parents are really supportive of it. I just talked to my daddy earlier. Like, he laughing at me because I was like, daddy, got me live. I'm scared. Like, I'm nervous as fuck. And he was like, just calm down. Like, shit, you didn't work this hard for nothing. Like, shit, you getting your recognition. So go with it. Yeah. Just be yourself. And also my manager, too. Mm -hmm. My mom and everybody just super involved. They super supportive. Like, they rocking with it. Okay, that's good. They rocking with it. And fuck who ain't. Facts. Big facts. Real good. That's real good. That's real good. Um, And what are we about to say? What is your creative process? What do you need before you write, before you get in the studio? What is something you have to do or need to do before you do that? I'm going to be real with you. A whole lot of liquor. <laughs> A whole lot of liquor. A whole lot of liquor. I'm a drinker. Fuck like that. I need a whole lot of liquor and just put on the beat and we're going to go from there. I need a whole lot of liquor, though. What's your favorite liquor? Like, because your fans going to want to If it, it makes me feel good, that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter. As long as it makes me feel good, it, that's my favorite. Okay, okay. I don't got no preference. Okay, I heard a lot of people say smoke. I ain't hear nobody say drinking. That's different. Uh, I'm a drinker. I can I smoke too, but you're a drinker. I'm a drinker. That's good to know. That's good to know. Um, best song you recorded so far? My favorite, I would say. Oh, I'm gonna have to say pop my shit. Yeah, I was gonna say that's the that's the hood. That's the yeah. That's street. That's my shit. Yeah. But everybody really be feeling hold on though, like. They be really feeling hold on. It's the, it's the beginning of hold on when you came the way you came in with it. Um, I don't want to say it because I want the fans to go and look on YouTube. But your first line, I said shit. I was talking to you freaking thing. Shit. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You good? Ain't glitching nothing. Actually, it's the best I've had in a while. But yeah, that hold on, yeah, hold on, and uh, pop my shit. Them, them classics right there. Them some pretty, them some, that's some fire ass tracks. I was. I appreciate that. Um, what's the best performance you had so far, or if you have performed? I mean, shit. I only had one experience, and I was nervous as fuck. But shit, I enjoyed it. It's like I wanted more, more, more. Like that's how I knew that I was made to do this shit, though. Because even though I was nervous, I still wanted more. Mm. And it wasn't even perfect. The shit was so far from perfect. Yeah. But I love the feeling. Okay. So, what was the crowd's feedback with you? You know, because way go to see that was fucking me. Okay. Okay. I got that. I got that. Is there any um? Like collabs coming soon from you and any other artists, or just you just going one? I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get all that shit worked out. I'm trying. Okay, understandable. Y'all tag me, like y'all let me know who y'all wanna, who y'all wanna see me work with. Y'all be, y'all let me know. I, I already know, how but I know that I'm gonna try to get Waco Tron on the song. I'm gonna try to get Shay Glizzy on the song. But I don't want too many features on my tape. Understood. Like I want to showcase my my talent. 
So I don't want to add too many people to distract or take away from what I'm doing. That's facts. That's real. But I know for a fact I want Shay Glissy and I want Waco Tron. That's a bit. You should hit the on the field. They gonna uh, hit you back for sure because they they showing a lot of love right now. Yeah. Yeah, I fuck with both of them yeah. hard. Yeah. That's a bit. That's a bit. I want to hear that. I can't wait to hear that. Um, top five. This is a little controversial. Top five rappers of all time. Our top five rappers you listen to right now. Okay, so I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give it to you like this. I give it to. I give it to Pac first. Two Pac. Okay. I give it to Nas. Okay. I give it to Lil Baby. Mm -hmm. I give it to Young Boy. Okay. And I'll give it to Kim. Okay, okay. I, and I, I hope you slip the female in there. I really hope you put a female in here, but okay, yeah. So, I'll give it to Kim. With Kim, little Kim's impact, do you think, because a lot of people are saying Kim is the blueprint. Do you believe that? Absolutely. She is, man, she the creator. Okay. Fuck that shit. She made it okay for us to feel like we can talk nasty. We can, we, we can express how we feel sexually. Like, y'all got her fucked up. Okay. Like. Okay, okay, I feel yeah. All right, I think did I have one more question. No, nah, I think I'm done with the questions. Um, do you do you want to go ahead and shout out your social media and like any other projects or any other things you got uh, about to come out soon? Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on well, not follow, but add me on Facebook at Stony Blanco. Everything is the same, Stony Blanco. Go look me up. And what I do want to say is, most a bitch ain't just pretty. Like, I I really, like, this is real gangsta ass street shit. And y'all got me fucked up. It ain't just a pretty face and this shit. Y'all got me fucked up. I'm really coming with this shit and ain't no letting up. Okay. Y'all gonna see next week, though, when the video drop. Y'all gonna see I ain't playing no more. Okay. okay. <laughs> I done been through enough. Uh, do you got a YouTube also? Or do you, uh, your stuff is still... Uh I mean, I do with Sony Blanco, but I be letting my manager, like, upload all of that on his, his uh YouTube and shit. You know what I'm saying? I think he on here too. He told me he was gonna tune in. Let me see. I think he on this. Yeah, he was on here. He was on here. I gotta. Uh, I gotta interview him next. Where you at, nigga? Go ahead and uh, let me know you still here. Yeah. I fuck with you, Olivia. <laughs> that's a bit. That's a bit. I, I appreciate everybody that joined in. Yeah. I fuck with y'all. Appreciate it. Appreciate it too. Uh, we are gonna keep doing these Instagram lives. I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. I'm gonna save it and upload it to YouTube, and I'm gonna tag it to you. So whoever didn't catch it here, they'll be able to catch it on the YouTube. And I'm gonna edit it and, and everything and send it to you. There go DJ Messiah right there. What's yo? What it is? I did good, right? <laughs> Stop playing with me. Now I'm just. <laughs> he had to talk me down earlier because I damn near rescheduled. Because <laughs> uh, I was so goddamn nervous. You good? Look. It, look, I'm 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 a positive blogger. I make a positive media. I ain't gonna ask you nothing out your, out, your, out you know out of, out the way. If it's something I gotta address, I ask you before we address it on live. So whenever I'm comfortable now, like you can ask me anything. If you got something else you wanna ask me, ask me now. We good. I'm comfortable now. Be down to do an all female cipher with all the white off females. That's that's a real. I tried. I already tried. You know, I already tried. Hey, we going cause I got I got some stuff that's working. I gotta do the freshman one. I gotta get that in the works. But once that out the way this summer, I'm trying to work on doing a, a all female cipher. But all the way go in Central Texas female, cause some girls from Clean and Temple, I'm tapping into too. Trying to get that out there and try to get it posted on major blogs. I live in Houston, so we can get that posted on major blog sites and see if we can get some traction. Yeah, but. If I can, we can talk to all of you down with that, and I can try to get. If it ain't everybody, it's gonna be the ones that agreed with it at this point. Yeah, because I tried to get like it was supposed to be like we did a record. I ain't gonna put no names on it, but a record was done and recorded and mixed, and mastered, and everything. But the dude ended up scratching the song, and I'm like, for what? But I know why. I know why too. They scared of me. They scared of me. <laughs> they scared of me. That that pin. <laughs> They better stop playing with me. They scared of me. <laughs> they better stop playing. I know why, too. I know why. I ain't going to say too much because I'm, I'm just a block. Exactly. They, they scared of me. I don't care what nobody say. They scared of me. Hey, look. She crazy behind the mic. Y'all make sure y'all stream all her music on uh, Apple Music, Spotify, uh, and YouTube. And also check out the Waco uh, playlist that I have on uh, my... I'm going to post it tonight on the page, but also in Apple Music. I have her on the playlist and a bunch of other females. Y'all rock with that. Make sure y'all rock with Sonny Blanco. And...
Thank you for rocking with me. I'm going to go ahead. I appreciate you, for real. Like, you gave me my first chance. I appreciate you, bro. So, for real. I got to show love to where I come from. And also, it's too much goddamn talent in just Waco and Texas in general. Yeah. I just want people to know that we country, but we bought our money. And we got some talented ass motherfuckers out here. And people need to see this shit. So. Yeah, tell them to stop playing on our motherfucking time. On my mama, for sure, for sure. But I got <laughs> yeah, for real. I'm about to sign off. You have a good one. You too. Appreciate you. See what I'm about.